Y'all, come on in, my kings and queens, my beautiful butterflies, my gorgeous royal angels. Y'all, come on in to the royal palace. Sip sage and manifest with me, baby. Y'all, let me tell y'all. Hey, lost my keys in the mall. Ooh, baby. I lost my keys, y'all. Hey, Sheila. Y'all, come on in. And I'm mad. I'm going to tell y'all why. Come on in, everybody. Make sure y'all hit that like button and that share button for me, please. Make sure y'all got my stream going all through this live, please, if you don't mind. And, of course, I love stars. And my cash up is at the bottom, baby. So, for those of you that want to bless me for Christmas, you can. Because I'm mad right now. Come on in, everybody. We're going to talk tonight. Hey, Akima. Hey, Latunya. Y'all, hold up. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. Hey, Francine, you've been missing me. Oh, I've been missing you, too. I'm glad you're back. Y'all make sure that y'all get y'all notifications because they've been hiding me and doing a whole lot of things, but it gets great. They've been doing all that there. But you know what? We got to fight through and keep on trusting the process and just keep on pushing through, baby. Don't let nobody stop you from where you're trying to get to. Don't let nobody incomplete your mission. Period. Hey, Takira Boo. I've been trying to call you. Um, why you ain't call me and let me know something's going on with you, honey? So when I get off this live, make sure you call your big sister, honey, because me and your uh, siblings been calling you, trying to check on you, young lady. You still the baby. Remember that. And we love you. Yes, y'all, that's my baby sister. She up in here with her big sister tonight. Y'all, make sure y'all hit that like and share button. Why well, I don't see my hearts and that we go talk to me because I'm going to say, y'all know y'all tripping that. Don't do me like that. Then we're going to talk about these red flags and imposters. Y'all want y'all say y'all want to talk about this some more. Let's talk about red flags and imposters. I would have got back with y'all sooner, but I've been with my sisters. They all um, came in from Birmingham, and we just enjoyed ourselves tonight. Y'all get a chance to see them, but they had to go pick somebody up from the airport. Hey, Diamond, how are you? I've been missing you because I've been sick and wasn't been in the hospital last week. I'm now but still getting so much. Oh, and then we're definitely praying for you. Y'all send that love over a net. We still hear the vibes to her. Hey, Paula, baby. Let me tell you, Paula. I'm going to text you my number. Okay, thank you, Takira. Paula, honey, you, baby, look here. Um, people want my hats and stuff. Now, 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 I, just wait one second. Hold up, Paula. Thank you for sharing, though. Thank you for sharing. Wait a minute, Miss Paula. Y'all, we got Miss Paula on here, I'm pretty and pink by P. Y'all know I've been rocking, I've been rocking her. Huh, okay. I took a break today, but I'm going to rock with some more tomorrow. Y'all get ready. Y'all already know how we like to do it. But now, Miss Paula, and some people, they want some of them hats I've been wearing. Miss Paula, I need some more hats to rock, okay? Because I, I got some imposters out there that been trying to get everything that you sent me, they've been trying to get too. All the way down to my coat. Yeah. Now, see, I let the coat thing slide. You know. When they be trying to do everything I do, 
all the way to my head wraps, to my braces I wear, and all that stuff. I don't know, y'all. Maybe I should feel flattered. Should I feel flattered? Should I feel flattered about that, y'all? But if they going to try to be me, they need to do it. They, they, they need to get a little closer than what they're doing because they ain't, it, it ain't no what they mean. Period. You know I got your back, sweet. Okay, if I miss Paul, I need, I, I, I need to up my gear. Those hats are triple five. Okay. Okay. They triple five because, baby, Miss Paula going to send me the best of everything. Baby, she makes sure I be on point. All the way down to my jewelry. She don't play no games, honey. And then when she found a bad outfit, she want to see me and she send that too. And y'all know I comes on and what I do, I rock it, don't I? And I had to send Miss Paula a picture because I ain't know what she had seen. So, honey, Miss Paula, you can put that on your page to let them know, baby, the queen be rocking it. And, it, and the queen needs some more hats to rock with the rest of her gear because you, you know how I get down. You know it. Yes, honey, but some people want to know where my hats come from. They, they love and the hats is coming for you. And then you can check out my Facebook page. That's right. Y'all make sure y'all go check out Miss Paula's um, Facebook page. She got it in the comments. It's pretty and pink by pink. Y'all go check it out. For all y'all that want to know where I got my hats from, my accessories from. Uh, I don't know. Some of y'all seen my coat, too. It's a hat go to that coat. I'm waiting on that, too. I'm waiting on another bag, too. I get all my purses from Miss Paula. My um, earrings, all that. Everything come from Miss Paula, okay? Now... I got Miss Kiva. Miss Kiva sent me some beautiful dresses and stuff too. She do. She be sending me some very nice things too. Um, DeAndre be sending me skincare, baby. Y'all, y'all queen, y'all, y'all queens be taking care of y'all queen. I tell you that. Y'all make sure I be on point. I'm gonna represent. I got you, baby. You know they got me for. I know it, but you know what? They ain't gonna mess with you no more. I'm asking God to make all your boxes be invisible. So that they won't mess with you no more. The enemy is real, real busy. He's so jealous. He's so mad. That's why he mad. He mad. He mad. He can't stop nothing, Paul. He can't stop nothing, honey. He can't stop nothing, Paul. Because, baby, they still want to know where all my stuff coming from. Because I sure have been rocking. And they're going to rock it some more. Every kind of way. I can't, you know, I don't know why this out there want to do this. But, honey, yeah, impulse. I, you know what? At first, I wouldn't. I, 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 I had let it go, y'all. I ain't take offense to it, you know. I did. But then when you try to hide it to make sure I don't see you trying to be me. That's that's another whole other story. But don't you know somebody that know me going to say, wait a minute, hold up. Don't worry right there at you. So look out. All right, Miss Sheila. You always got me, baby. Miss Sheila. Now, Miss Sheila. Miss Sheila be sitting in the box, baby. She gonna have me some new lipsticks, some blushes, ears. She be even throwing some change in there, baby. Miss Paula be looking out too. I mean, Miss Sheila be looking out for too. Your bag will be here Saturday or Monday. This is not what she all together. Okay, thank you. I can't wait because I mean, you already know I'm gonna rock it, baby. I might go even get me a new pair of shoes to rock with. I want to go Christmas shopping, but I can't. I got to got bills to pay. Shoot, the grandbabies might be a little short, too. <laughs> but no, we're going to make a way. But oh, yeah, I will make a post as well when I get off this live. Y'all remind me. Um, because it's getting the crunch time. Um, for those that I got one person that's volunteered to help out the butterfly plant family, which is a, a young lady and she has three children. I um, if you want to help out to make sure that they have a good Christmas, please inbox me with your number. I will give you the information you can tell me whatever it is that you can help me with. The kids need clothes because they don't have much, and two of them go to school. And uh, they definitely need some shoes. They definitely need shoes, y'all. Um, if I could do it by myself, I would. But I, they don't pay me like they pay the rest of them. That's all right, because we claim that for 2023, they've been making that kind of money so that I can help others. 
Baby, you were lit. Bye with that hat. Pink hat with that Cheetos. Oh, God, you know, you know I put it together. And that's why, you know, a lot of times, you know, my reasoning for doing what I do, because I'm telling y'all, this has not been paying my bills. <laughs> it has not. But I keep on pushing because y'all let me know on a daily basis through text messages, phone calls, just how important the job that God has me doing is. Okay, I'm interested. I'll inbox you. Yes, Miss Sheila, please inbox me. And I'll tell you what all they need and whatever you can do is fine. Uh, we'll figure out how to do it. They're living in a hotel. Um, they're living, she's been paying week to week. It's cheaper for her to pay it monthly, but she don't have it. She don't even be knowing whether she's going to be outside with her two, three children the next day. But for Christmas, um, I am going to uh, get them for Christmas. They will spend, spend Christmas with my family. Hey, Star Travis from Detroit, they will not be up in no hotel. No, those babies will not be in no hotel, okay? So however y'all want to do it, if we want to put together some, send some money or whatever, and I go shopping for them, and y'all go with me, or if y'all want to order it, and I can pick it up, or... I don't know. We're going to figure it out. I seen the reel you did for your son. I loved it. Thank you, Nisha. Y'all, I was talking about them red flags. Sis can't stop, won't stop. God, God, you don't ever give up. Your blessings just around the corner. You better say it. You better say it. I was telling my sister all day tonight. I said, honey, everything I got is because of God. Everything I got. Where I'm at, where I'm at in life, all the possessions that I have, everything is because of God. You're welcome. May he rest in peace. Amen. May my baby rest in peace. My son's birthday is Sunday, y'all. And um, I'm doing pretty good today. My son's birthday is Sunday. Well, actually, two of my, three of my son's birthday, two biological and one is from another mother, but he's still mine. Um, he's in heaven as well. His name is Patrick. Um, him and my sons have the same birthday, so... Um, that's what's going on. So, y'all, I'm going to do something for him as well. I release some balloons for my son. I'm going to release some for him. They were best friends. Um, and um, he was in a car accident um, when he left my house. Him and his mother was going to see his brother. And um, he was a, well, we ain't going to talk about that. I don't want to go there. Um, you should keep your head up and stay strong. Thank you, baby. That's what I'm doing. See, when I got, because y'all be wanting to throw in the towel sometime. I, I, I promise you I do. Y'all, I uh, got on some makeup. All I got on is some lipstick. That's the goal of God. All over me, that's that anointing. Mm. Yes, it is. And I thank God for it. But I'm telling you, y'all, if only y'all knew my story. But y'all stay tuned because, um, there's going to be an article done on me, and y'all will get to know a little bit more about me and the things that I've been through. And I'm going to start being, I'm going to open up a little bit more to you all about my life and the things that I have been through, the struggle, the good, the bad, the in-between and all that. You better have some thigh-high boots ready. They ain't ready. Baby, you better quit playing with me, Miss Paul. This me you talking to, honey. You know I got about four, five, six pair of thigh boots. Matter of fact, I'm, mm, girl, I got thigh boots for days, honey. I'm going to Birmingham because I need some old new thigh boots. And for some reason, I like getting my thigh boots from Birmingham because actually they're a little bit cheaper. I seriously thought you had on makeup. Mm -mm, I don't. I just got on lipstick. No makeup. Um, hey Keisha, how you doing? 
No makeup, but I'm looking at myself, but that ain't never but the glory of God all over me. Because last week was rough, y'all. Ooh, 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 Jesus. But y'all, I'm going back because I've seen some pals that I wanted. I, I need some more calls. I need some more calls. Calls. I love me some thigh high boots, baby. Ooh. Y'all, I got this photo shoot coming up, and mm, I can't wait for y'all to see what I'm about to do. That's a natural glow, just beautiful. Thank you so much. Y'all, we was talking about these impulses and that's some keys, and I'm mad, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm upset. Because I ain't really had money to spend like that, but I did it anyway, because sometimes you, you want what you want. Thank you, Miss Paula, for the stars. I definitely appreciate it so much. Anybody, y'all, y'all one of them stars because they got a thing going on. And I'm gonna be able to um give y'all I'm gonna be able to do a giveaway real soon. It's getting better, y'all. I was going through a storm. Y'all just didn't know it. Cause I ain't tell y'all. You know, when I come on here, I come on here for other people. I don't come for myself because you wanna know why God got me. And when God be putting it on y'all hard to bless me, y'all be blessing me. And y'all do every day. Just with your prayers, your motivation, just uplifting me. Oh my goodness. All that count. It's not always about monetary. And but some of y'all, baby, y'all be, I be getting cash apps out of nowhere. And let me tell you, they be right on time, y'all. Thank you. Because see, when you ain't around here um, bashing the next person or attacking somebody that's weaker, weaker than you um, or keeping up drama, you ain't gonna make no money. Facebook hides you. I'll keep them, them thumbs up and them hearts going up. I mean, we got to keep it. We, we got to get them one way or other. We got to make it count for something so y'all just run it up. If your hand gets tired, somebody else take over for me. That's all I'm asking y'all to do. Do you see one of them purple boots you was looking at in your time for me? I'm sure do, Miss Sheila. We got to start party. Oh, look at look at that. We got to start party. Can we win this start party, y'all? If I had some money on cash out, I would have most definitely sent you something, but I sure will have. Sure will share this love and show. Girl, just share this live, baby. Share it till you can't share it no more. That's showing me love right there. Hit that like button and then hit that reaction button. Run them reactions up. Let's see if we can get over a thousand reactions. Thank you, Miss Paula, for the hundred stars, baby. Thank you, Queen. Y'all, y'all send them stars. Run them stars up. Run them up. And if you can't hit that cash up, because I get that cash up immediately. Yes, they say a closed mouth don't get fed. And yes, I am asking. Well, I'm just saying. It's it's an option. You don't have to. As long as y'all hit that like button and y'all share and y'all hitting them reactions for me. That's a blessing within itself. Come on, ladies. Let's turn it up. Thank you, Miss Paula. Another hundred stars from Miss Paula. Thank you, Queen. Yes, maybe. Y'all ain't running a special on those stars, too. So, you get more stars than what you usually would get. So, grab them stars and run it up for me. Run it up for me. Run it up. I appreciate y'all so much, man. Listen here. We was talking about imposters and red flags and all that go together because you got some imposters and, and, and you gonna know the imposters with them red flags and it ain't just people trying to be you imposters can be people that's trying to be somebody else what they say the represent the representative the representative you know some people say the representative i don't know if i'm saying that right but Y'all get the guess of what I'm saying. It ain't who they ain't who they say they are. Since I love blood, thank you, Nikki. Uh, hey, my baby, how you doing, sweetie? I talked to y'all. I was sister last night. I was sister, but yes. So y'all stop rushing into things and take your time out to learn who these people is. Sometimes you know people person for a lifetime, and they ain't who they say he is. For real. Stop being in a rush to be in love. Fall in love with yourself. You got to first know how to maintain falling in love with yourself. And then, you know, when you learn to do that, you will 
you will sidestep a whole lot of the booby traps. You will sidestep breaking your own heart when you learn how to love yourself. Because can't, can't nobody love you better than you. Learn to love yourself first before you try to fall in love with somebody else. That's the best love you can ever get because at least you ain't even got to question yourself. It's genuine. You know you. You might not know nobody else. Angela said we need 300 stars. Can we get 300 stars real quick, y'all? Share the live and click the heart. Thank you so much. And hit that little button and keep on doing it. Since them new, them new, new coats. Oh, don't play with me, Paula. Don't play with me. Maybe this time when I get that new coat from you, somebody else won't go copy. Do you know they went and got that coat? Now, see, this was a while back. But then they still been doing stuff and they blocked me so I couldn't see it. But I, somebody else been seeing it. Yeah, honey, they got to, they, 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 they trying to be me. You, 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 they can't do that. Yeah, girl, I had, I just deleted the picture, but I'm going to go back and retrieve it and I'm going to send it to you. You think, baby, they even had a hat on, too. I don't like when people do that. Because first of all, you you support me. You will know that I'm live and you will here watch me and not call me. Do not do that. And if I send you to the voicemail, that means that I'm doing something like that, right? Come over here and join us. That can't be you, not nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, I'll, you know you be sending me shades too, Miss Paula. You know I got all kind of glasses that you can send me, Miss Paula. D down to the glasses, Miss Paula. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know I wear my spiritual bracelets and stuff like that, baby. All the way down to that, all the way to the scarf. Now, y'all to the microphone. I'm through. Y'all know my microphone has been my signature for a very, very long time. Everybody know my microphone is my signature, so I had to start back making sure I there she go. Thank you, baby. Here I am over here, boo. You ringing the phone, baby. I'm right here. Right here. Come over here and join us. Now back to what I was saying. Yeah, but we on. How you doing, big? I ain't long time no see, queen. So yeah, honey, that, let me tell y'all. Then fall in love with Jesus. That, 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 you know, it can be the most beautiful conversations that you can have when you have a conversation with God. Because guess what? God is not going to tell your secrets. He is not going to tell your most heartfelt secrets to nobody. He's going to keep it to himself. A lot of times we set ourselves up and we want to blame somebody else, but you got to stop blaming people from for what you've been shown time and time again. If they showed you once and they showed you twice, what makes you think they changed? And maybe it's not them that need to change. Maybe it's you. I had to learn that. I had to make some changes. Instead of thinking everybody else was supposed to change, there were some changes that I needed to make within me so that I would not be doing the same thing over and over again. So I started making changes because someone right with that picture. It wasn't the person, those people, it was me. So you can't worry about everybody else. You need to worry about you. Worry about the dishes that you got in your own sink. Don't worry about what somebody ain't did in their own house. Worry about what's all going on in your house. And when you worry about you and your business, you ain't you you you'll come out a whole lot better. You see, because a lot of times we try to take on other people's problems. Take on the problems that you got. Go worry about other people. Stop trying to fall in love with other people. Fall in love with yourself. I can't even stress this enough. And you know, all y'all want to know why a lot of relationships don't work because. You don't even know how to love yourself. So you accept anything and everything that somebody else does to you, and that's not always love. And you wonder why you got your head down. You wonder why you hurt. You 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 be sometimes you be in a situation to where you think your self-esteem is high, but it's really not. It's really low because you be willing to do anything to hold on to a man or hold on to a woman. Just to say you got one. Just, just so you won't be lonely. 
We got to do better than that women. We got to do better than that men. I'm telling y'all the truth because I'm telling y'all me that used to, who that used to be. See, I ain't ashamed to say it. I'm not ashamed to tell you where I used to be, but what I'm not going to go back to. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm all right with being by myself. And I tell it just like it is, straight up at the door. You either like it or you don't. Now you got an option. So you can't say I did you wrong or I'm leading you on because I told you this at the door. You will go, you will go against everything you believe in. Just to satisfy that other person. And it's still not, it still will never be enough. It'll be enough for them temporarily to give you a few more moments with them. But those moments that you get are not even genuine moments because they're not sincere. It's not real. That's when you need to make a choice. Stop trying to change people. Change yourself. Work on you. And that's the best thing that you can do. When you know you've been hurt time and time and time again, and you can't figure it out, and you and you saying, I know I ain't did nothing wrong, and I'm this wonderful person, and you need to figure out there's something else going on with, inside of you that you don't want to take a look at. That you don't even want to acknowledge it because it hurts too much for you to even see it. You got an issue. And nothing will work until you figure that out and work on you. And that's the best thing that you can do. I don't want no man that ain't worked on himself and figured out what he want to be and what he want to do in life. I ain't got time to be waiting on no man to, to guess. I ain't got time to do that. I don't have that kind of time to give to anybody but myself and my children. We would jump hoops, turn cartwheels, just for that affection from the other person. But are they going to do that for you? No. You got to know your worth and know what you're worthy of and worthy of receiving. And it's going to start by falling in love with yourself. I need to fall in love with myself. And when you have been beat up and scarred up and abused emotionally, physically, mentally, it's hard. When all your life you'd have been dead, grown, and we talking about trauma from childhood, trauma from birth, the attention you were seeking you never got. But all along, God gave you that attention that you needed. You just didn't see it because he had a greater plan in store for you. He had something magnificent for you lined up an assignment for you, but you didn't understand that assignment at first and you didn't understand why you had to go through those things that you had to go through. It was all for a reason. Can y'all keep those hearts and them thumbs going up? I mean, please, and them hugs and whatever else. I just need y'all to keep that string going. We're going to get them one way or the other. Thank y'all. Hit that like button and that share button for me. But keep that string going. All I want to see is some hearts and thumbs up, hugs, calves. I hit you. Need to put a crab in if you want to. Just, just keep it flowing. It's the truth. And the more you get real with yourself, it don't hurt as much. You begin to fall in love with you. It's so beautiful. When I started falling in love with me instead of trying to make somebody else love me and I learned to love myself and to give me that love that I know that I truly deserve because sometimes we don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that maybe you need to, need to take some time out to yourself and figure out where you're going and just figure out who you really are and what it is that you're supposed to be doing and what it is that you really want to do. No, we don't want to hear that because we just want this companion so bad. Tree said, Miss Simon, you're speaking to me. And, and, and we don't, we say, oh, you know, mm -mm. 
And, and, and I'm telling y'all, I haven't been in a relationship where I have literally tried to force it to work. You cannot force no square inside of a circle. It don't go. I've done that. Tried it. Broke my heart many years over time and time again. I was breaking my own heart. It wasn't nobody breaking my heart. It was me breaking my heart. Because I didn't know how to love me. I have been through so many traumatic things. Abusive relationships. Sexual abuse at a young age. Yeah, me. So many things taken away from me. And a lot of times when you go through all that trauma, you give yourself pity. You got to stop pitying yourself because all that you went through was for a reason. Just know it. It was for a reason. Pick yourself up. Pick your head up and love you. Your scars and all, baby. Your scars are what make you beautiful. And I had to learn that. And now I love me some me. And when God resides in you, you can't help but to love you. If you love God, And a lot of times we don't think that we are putting God on the back burner. Yes, you are. Because you're trying to force something more harder than you're trying to force the relationship with you and God, the person that created you. It's not going to work. Think about it. We all have done it. Maybe not knowingly, or intentionally, but we all have done it. You, you, you loving on a person harder than you love yourself. You loving on a person and giving them more love and everything is more than you would give to God. It's not gonna work. See, if you put that energy into to Jesus. that we put into people, I promise you, the outcome will be very, very different. I'll never forget that day when I just hadn't had enough. I hadn't had enough of my heart being broken. I hadn't had enough of letting people in. I hadn't had enough of just letting people walk over me. I hadn't had enough. And I'll never forget, I broke down in my bathroom floor and got on my knees. And I cried out to God. Oh, I stayed there about 30 minutes, y'all. Oh, I stayed there 30 minutes. Oh, boy, maybe an hour. But when I got up, I was a new person. It was then and at that moment I had made up my mind to love me. Miss Adam, please include me in your prayers when you go to bed. I definitely will. I include you all. The Lord said, I guess that's why I'm single. I've been through so much. Me too, the Lord's. And when you've been through a lot, you've got to figure it out. Once you figure it out, you're not going to accept no anybody. You're not going to be so quick to jump into a relationship with anybody. Because you've been through too much and you're not going to let nobody take you back there. You've learned how to love you. And you're just not going to take nothing. You just, it, it, it's, it's not going to, they can't even get one over on you. You know when they come in, you know when they for real, you know when they, when they just trying to play a game with you. See, you knew it then. But you didn't want to see it because you wanted it to work so bad. 
even though you knew that was not the answer. You saw all of the red flags. Red flags. Red flags is so many of them. They don't want to take you out in public. Like I told y'all, pay attention. They ain't going to share you on social media. Um, the things that they fell in love with you about, that they love so much about you, guess what? Now it irritates them. Or you ask a simple question and they just go off on you for no reason. Just act like you just did it. Ugh, you just got on their nerves and just went off. And you could have said, um, baby, um, did the mailman run yet? And they go left on you, snappy. It's over already. But you don't want to see, you want to fix it. And then they be telling you they don't want you. Or oh, it's not going to work and they, they need to do something dis different. And they want to do something else with their life. But right now you ain't it. But you pretend like you don't hear it. You pretend like uh, that's not what they said. And you can you, you can fix it. And, and you go into God and you praying about the relationship. Are you serious? Yes, the Lord, they treat you cold as ice. Don't even want you to touch them. They don't even want to lay next to you. Your intimacy is different. You can tell by the intimacy. It's different. And they pick every excuse not to even be around you. You spend more time alone than you do with them. Red flags, baby. Pay attention. Y'all keep them hearts and them thumbs up going up. Sleep with that back turned in the bed. Okay, Dolores. Or not tonight. Or they fall asleep on the sofa. Or they go to bed and they got them pajama pants on. <laughs> you ain't touching me. I don't care what you do. The Lord said, I can write a book. Go on, and put it up in there, Dolores. Me and you both. You can't force nobody to love you. If it ain't there, it ain't there, baby. Don't. It ain't, and then it's no longer them. See, you've been seeing the signs. You didn't want to see it. Y'all, I can tell you how many times I didn't want to see it. I wanted to make it work. The end, you don't, want, you don't even want to tell nobody. You go through all that and you see be trying to hold on to a piece of a person. They treating you like crap. But you still don't want to let that relationship go. You still, you, you getting dogged out every day. But you still want to hold on. They disrespecting you all kind of ways, but you still want to hold on. You can't blame them because you are allowing it. You are accepting that behavior because you have not truly learned to love yourself. You can't get mad at them if they don't love you. You don't love you. And you can't get mad at a person that don't even know how to love themselves as well. You should not even want that in your life. I don't even know why I'm talking to y'all about this. Maybe somebody need to hear this message. But it's the truth. I'm going to tell y'all about a lot of things I've been through. That was just so much. You knew it was over a long time ago. Hey, you knew it was over before you even agreed to be in the relationship. <laughs> you knew it wasn't gonna work. You saw you saw red flags way ahead of time, long time ago. You saw red flags when you met them. But you chose not to see that you saw what you wanted to see. You heard, you hear what you want to hear when they're t telling you, hey, I ain't ready for no relationship, but you can be my little busted baby. But in your mind, you're hearing, oh, it, 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 we're going to be in a relationship. I just need to hang in there a little longer, but they want me not. Did they just tell you? So you hear 
what you want to hear and it's your fault if your heart is broke because they told you. You saw all the signs a long time ago. It don't take a rocket or rocket scientist to figure it out. You know the type of person you linked up with when you got what, what kind of energy they had. If they ain't changed, they ain't gonna make you think they're gonna change for you. People change for who they want to change for. And it's okay if it's not you. It ain't meant to be you. People change for who they want to change for. If they love you enough, they will do just that. But you cannot force it. And you can stick around and waste more of your time if you want to. I ain't wasting no time. I did that. Enough of it. And you know what? I just take it as a lesson learned and it was an experience that I needed to go through it. And you don't continue to go through that until you figure it out. And once I figured it out, I'm okay with being by myself. Until that right one come along, I am okay with being by myself. I came in this world by myself. Go get your cat or a dog or a fish. <laughs> Find you some hobbies. It's okay. I really have real love and fake love any day. And that's the truth. But I'm not going to hold y'all up. I just want to hop on and talk to y'all. I found my keys and all I got on my folks. Y'all. Let me tell you something. I need I this is my favorite liner by Mac. I y'all know I love Mac, okay? This is my favorite liner. This is my third time buying this liner, and I'm upset about it because y'all don't know what this liner was not cheap. Hey Tammy. Y'all this liner that went up some more. They ain't even been on sale. They ain't even getting no free gift because they done ran out of gifts. I still want a free gift. This liner was $22. So I'm not taking my liner outside anymore. Because usually, you know, I, I want to use it. So I put it in my little makeup case. And, you know, if I'm going out somewhere, I want to readjust my makeup. But this this won't be coming outside the house no more. It's by MAC. It's Chestnut. And I really like it. I've always loved this. This is my favorite pencil. Um... I wear it with the Ooh Baby because it looks so good. When you line your lips up with this chestnut and then put that Ooh Baby on, I'm going to have to show y'all what it looks like. It be looking real good. It's MAC. It's um Ooh Baby. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. It's MAC. And it's um this color is chestnut. My favorite. MAC. Well, yeah. So I, this is the third pencil I had to go buy. The other two two legs. Or oh, is this the fourth pencil? But well, anywho, I'm not going to buy me another one because this should last me a long time. These pencils are too expensive. These ain't the dollar ones or the dollar ninety nine or the two dollar ones. Twenty two dollars. Well y'all I went to get it the other day and I was like, no. Afford. But you know what I said? I'm going to treat myself to something. Because one of y'all queens said, bless me. So I said, I'm going to treat myself to something that I really, really want. Because I do need another pencil. Because I like to look good. And I like to come on and look fabulous. So y'all can say, hey, queen said look fabulous every day. Because when you look good, you feel good. Look good for yourself. You ain't got to be looking good for nobody else. Do it for you, baby. Don't let nobody stop your shine. Don't let nobody tell you you doing too much. No, you doing too little. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, I wish you wouldn't do that or um, why you got to wear that or baby, do what make you feel good. If they don't like to need clothes, they don't want eyes. 
Baby, if you want to wear you some stilettos and you fit the fold 60 and you can still wear them and you look good in it, then baby, put it on. If you want to put your makeup on and be beautiful and then you want to wear you some MAC, then that's what you do. If you want to change your hairstyles up, honey, do it. If you want to put on you some uh, hot shorts, I don't care. Do it. Do what makes you feel good. Do what makes you happy. If somebody else got a problem with it, then oh well. Not your problem. People love telling people, well, you don't need that. Don't stop telling me what I don't need because I ain't telling you what you don't need. Somebody tried to tell me something and I love that person too. Don't tell me what I don't need. I, God gave me what I asked for. I'm not going to let you tell me what I don't need. I'll tell you about how to fix your house, how to run your affairs, how to look or nothing. So please don't do that. See, sometimes people want to come and crush your dreams because they feel like it, it's too, it might be too glamorous for them. But if that's what I want and, and God is allowing me to have it, then that's what it's going to be. And I'm sorry if it does not fit what you, your criteria, what you think I should have. It ain't about you. This about me. If I want to sleep in a gold 24 karat gold bed, that's my business. You doing what you want to do, right? So don't let nobody tell you you're doing too much. Honey, if you like to stand out and you spoke and you walk in the room and you know our last and it be on you. And that's your personality. Baby, if you ain't if you ain't if, if you walking in the room and all eyes ain't on you, baby, then you need to go out and readjust yourself and come back in and try again. I don't care where you go, make a statement. Let your energy when you walk in the room, they just want it because they feel that heavy energy, that that awesome energy to just enter the room, and they want to see where it's coming from. Baby, make a statement everywhere you go. But leave a positive impression. Let it be a positive impression and not a negative one. And on that note, I love y'all. Good night.